Chris obviously been in this situation before, just a couple of times last year, uh, fresh in the memory. But uh, how does the team approach Game Four? Oh, a lot like we've play, approached the other games. Um, obviously, that's a desperate team that that needs to win this hockey game to stay alive. But we need to recognize that. And a lot of times, the hardest one, the elimination one, is the hardest to close out. So I think we watched a little bit of video, what we did well, what we still can correct, and just stick with our game plan, stick with our process. But realize that that's going to be a desperate team that. It's going to throw everything at us to survive, and we need to match that intensity. What do you see that you can correct? That was a pretty solid road game uh, the other night. It was solid, but I think I think we need to stay above a little bit more. I think we need to make decisions, better decisions in critical times of the game or critical times of the ice. I thought, uh, thought our execution on a lot of our prime scoring chances didn't result in actual chances. It was almost chances, so I think uh, you know when we kind of smell blood, we can we can go for the kill rather than letting the team hang around because if we do that tomorrow, let it—you know—it's a one-nothing game. Whether we're up or down, let them hang around. They're going to play desperate and hopefully have a chance to, to come back. So, I just think when we we see the prime time to to eliminate a team, you know, let's get it over tomorrow if we can. Play our progress game. We don't want a good team like Cleveland hanging around and get any momentum whatsoever. What, what can you draw on from last year, Chris? The experiences, the, the guys who went through all that, and and closing a team out. I just—I think what I just said. I mean. You don't want to give a team any momentum in a series, and whether that's game one, game two, whether it's game three, you know we've done our job so far, but it's not done yet. And you give a team life, any team that's in the playoffs, you never know what can happen. It's a series, and momentum can switch in a heartbeat. And you know we have momentum right now because it's three nothing, but that team's very desperate, and we don't want to wake them up. We don't want to give them any momentum. We want this thing to end tomorrow, and we need to play a very, very good hockey game. So a lot of the things you've been doing then, because in a league that's so tight, I mean, you hear you guys are 6-0, and and the playoffs haven't lost yet. So yeah, so yeah. There's, six, a, there's, a, there's a bit of a difference happening here for you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 6-0, and all, but I think a lot of those games, you know, to a man, you can look, could have went either way. So there's things we need to correct, but like I said, we have momentum, we have confidence, and we need to keep it that way. And we don't want to play any you know, kind of funny play or any kind of lackadaisical play. We need to, to come out with a purpose, come out structure, and not give this team any life.